Hey there, Westbrook. Just wanted to take a moment and update you on some important news. I know all around us, we are feeling the pinch of the stay at home order. Uh, we are feeling the pull to get out there and to start engaging with the world. Uh, you're feeling the pressure of the world opening up and we begin to re-enter life a little bit. I get it, I get it. I know uh, what you're feeling, I feel it too. We've been at this for about two and a half months now and it's getting pretty frustrating and it's, and it's getting pretty tough and I could go on and on. We've missed so much. We, we've been disappointed with the schools closing and with graduations canceled and with sports postponed. On top of all of that, we here in Illinois are watching and listening for information on the reopening of our state and when that might happen and how it will be phased in. I'd like to speak to this issue for just a couple of moments as it pertains uh, to Westbrook. Uh, first of all, let me remind you how much I love you and how much I miss you. I I'm really excited about what God is teaching us, however, through this season. and. And as our ministry continues, even in the absence of, of our corporate gatherings, missing those. But I can't wait to resume meeting together. I can't wait to see you. I can't wait to be together as, as soon as it's safe and practical to do that. We care about you and, and your safety. And so as the state begins to open up and, and, and reopen, we're determined to make a prayerful and informed and wise decision about when to resume on-campus ministry. In that vein, let me be super honest with you and, and let you know that we're not using the phrase, we're not using the phrase, when are we gonna reopen Westbrook? Westbrook has never been closed. <laughs> Our incredible church has remained open throughout this entire pandemic. And, and not only have we had powerful times of worship and ministry online, uh, our church has had incredible ministry to our community and incredible ministry to the people in our church. So this issue is not when are we going to reopen our church. The conversation might be more about when are we going to re-enter our Lily Cash facility. Well, we'd love to lay out a detailed plan for you for the next couple of months. However, people's comfort levels are all over the place as we think about getting back together. You know, one third of the population think that we're overreacting and one third of the population seems to think that we're reacting appropriately and other third probably think that we're underreacting. So whatever we decide to do, whatever we decide to do, chances are, Two-thirds of the people are going to kind of be ticked off with the decision that we make. According to our current CDC guidelines and in accordance with our governor's phasing uh, re-entry approach, we really, we really can't start meeting together until phase four, which allows us to gather with up to 50 people. The timing of that is in the air as we're just now this week moving into phase three and, and the timing of phase four is everyone's guess. What's more, when we resume our in-person gatherings, social distancing at church will be very different from what we're used to. It'll be with very limited seating and those who don't live under the same roof won't be able to sit together. We won't be able to hug and shake hands and, 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 and encourage each other in that way. We won't, be able to, we won't be able to offer children's ministries or student ministries or our cafe or our famous home-baked cookies. Mask wearing will pose a challenge when it comes to singing and to the receiving of communion. Cleaning up afterwards between services will require that everybody leaves rather quickly afterwards. In short, the sooner that we resume gathering, the less church will resemble the family gatherings that we all love. L let me repeat that because it's kind of an important sentence. The sooner that we resume gathering, the less the church will resemble the family gatherings that we love. A sterile, impersonal experience that limits our capacity and isn't friendly to senior adults and young families and people with compromised immune systems and especially first-time guests. It's not the experience that we want to offer. For all of those reasons, we don't believe it's wise to resume gathering yet and we believe it's too early to pinpoint a date when we will. As we pray through this issue, however, 
and discuss among our leaders about re-entry, I want you to know there are three guiding principles that we are hanging on to. The first one is this. As I mentioned a moment ago, Westbrook is not closed. We are very much open, and I'm thrilled with the ministry opportunities that this uh, pandemic has afforded us, and your pastors and your leaders are available to you anytime you need us. You just let us know. Secondly, we don't want to gather too soon to jeopardize the lives of the people in our church and in our community. Westbrook wants to be an incredible witness to our community, and our actions in regard to that will speak volumes. Thirdly, we don't want to gather until it can be a great experience for everyone. At present, here's what we do know. We'll continue to worship together online for the foreseeable future. And then we'll monitor the local situation very carefully as it pertains to COVID cases as they are concerned. And we'll make decisions throughout June and beyond that as we gather more information. In the meantime, May I ask a couple of very important things from you. Number one, pray. Pray, pray like crazy. Pray that, that this virus gets under control and, and that more lives will not be lost to it. Pray for our healthcare workers and our first responders. Pray for uh, the businesses and, and who are so concerned about their finances and their viability. Pray for our families who are sheltering at home and, and learning to live with each other in a new environment. Pray for God to reign during this time. Secondly, engage with us online. I, I know you have screen fatigue and I know it's overwhelming and, and Zoom calls and the like. E-learning has been, has been incredible, but stay with us online. Worship with us every single weekend. Take advantage of the student opportunities and the children's ministry opportunities for Bible learning and for, for connection with each other. Our team is working so hard to provide incredible content to help you and your family to continue to grow in Christ. Don't miss a single weekend or a single opportunity to do that. We're sometimes thinking these last couple days of the spiritual connection as we move into the summer months. And, and we don't want you to, to get distracted with all the other things in your life that you begin to lose you, and stop thinking about your spiritual connection. With that then, number three, get connected in a group. Contact Pastor Hanna to see how you can connect with other people from Westbrook in a group. You'll be so blessed and so encouraged. Be on the lookout for news of a summer Bible study as well as other summer events that begin happening in regard to our ministry regardless of our re-entry plans. Then next, serve your neighbor and serve our city. Look for ways to continue being a blessing to those people around you. I've heard of rooted groups who are delivering care packages to health care and medical workers and hospital workers and drive through birthday parades and, and so many incredible ways that people are loving their community in action. Maybe it's as simple as saying a thank you to the person who's cleaning your grocery cart when you walk into the store. Maybe it's as simple as being super patient with the people who are trying to serve you and be Jesus to them. And then as you faithfully give, please know that your generosity is equipping us to meet the rapidly growing needs of the community around us. And so thank you for your faithful and generous stewardship. As I close, let me remind you again that our pastors and our staff remain available to you to talk and to pray, to help in any way. Lord willing, our staff is going to begin resuming office hours and being in the office at Westbrook. And, and we want you to know that we can be available to talk to you. Please continue trusting God and, and loving and encouraging the people around you and, and connecting with us online and, and praying for our leaders and giving as generously as you're able to. And also, let me just remind you uh, that we, we say all the time around here, God can make a way when there seems to be no way. It's true. Don't forget this. We're on mission with Jesus, whether online or in our campus. You got to know, I love you and we'll keep you as informed as possible as our plans take more definitive steps. Thank you.